Got the E-Leaf I Care Mini today and 10 chances to score one. Welcome to the Vapor Trail channel. I'm Tony. This is a crazy weird week for me. I've got some business to do outside the studio. And well, we have a potential hurricane. Hurricane Matthew is heading our way and all the prediction models are kind of putting it right up the coast, right into the Outer Banks of North Carolina, which is where I live. If you're not familiar, the Outer Banks of North Carolina is like a sandbar basically that sticks out of the end of North Carolina into the ocean. So we're highly susceptible to hurricanes. So hopefully this doesn't hit us directly with a high category. Right now it's a category four out there in the ocean. So eh, that might be bad. Typically we just have a hurricane party. We're used to it here, but this this one sounds like it might be big. Hopefully it veers out into the ocean. We'll still get wet, but we won't have a direct hit. That said, I'll do my best to get some good content here on the channel while I can this week. Today we're looking at the iCare Mini from eLeaf. Yeah, we've already looked at the iCare, which I think is a great device. I've been using it when I have to work and when I'm on location and that kind of stuff. You know, I own a small video, photo, and voiceover business. And it's perfect for those times when you need to be a little bit more discreet, you know, when you're working and that kind of stuff. So I like it. The Mini is smaller and it has this little backpack thing. It's a little charging station that you can charge independently and you can use it with it. I also have 10 chances for you to score one of these. I'm doing this in conjunction with eLeaf and one of their U.S. distributors. If you're one of the 10 chosen, you will have to pay a $3 fee to the distributor. I don't even know which one it is, but they're here in America. That way we can stay straight up with all the regulations. Now you know how I do this. When you have a chance to score here, I've got a Google form that's right at the top of the description. All you have to do is fill that out and we'll choose 10 winners from that using a randomizer. And people ask me, how many times can I enter? Well, you can only enter one because that's all that's going to matter. I've seen people that enter like, you know, uh, 50, 60 times, but I strip all of those out, all duplicate entries, and I leave just one entry per person. There's typically a thousand to two thousand people that enter, and we make sure that there's only one entry, and then I use a randomizer to pick a random number that these names have been assigned, and there we go. Not bad though, three bucks to score one of these things, and there are 10 chances for you. All right, so let's go ahead and dig in and let me show it to you. E liquid that we're going to be using today is Blue Moon. It's from No Name craft e-juice same guys that do brew city if you get the full line then you get this cool little i guess like a little six pack holder it is kind of neat this flavor is basically modeled after something that they have in michigan it's a blue moon ice cream and you know a lot of people like it i have never tried the ice cream but i've tried a couple of blue moon ice cream flavors and i dig it this being the better of the blue moon ice cream flavors that i've tried i'll put a link down in the description where you can find that take a look at the box real quick you'll see that you have the eye care mini right there and then you've also got this little kind of backpack battery charger stand. I'll leave this up here for a second if you want to read that. And that's what comes inside the box. They come in black, white, blue, cyan or cyan, however you want to pronounce that, red or gold. When you open it up, you get the iCare Mini and that's your backpack right there. This pulls out. Underneath there, you've got a manual, you've got a USB cable, and you've got two coils in here. This one says 1.1 ohm, 0 to 15 watts. And this one is the same. So the iCare Mini itself has 320 milliamp hour of battery and then this backpack thing here, the Mini PCC, I don't know if you can see that on there, this has 2300 milliamp hour. So combined, this has 2600 milliamp hour. Now you'll see that it has a red light right there when I plugged it in and you can see right there that it is charging. That red light will go off when it is done charging. So basically this is a charger and you can also use it as the mod itself if you're running out of battery. So you can carry this in your purse or your backpack or whatever. It's uh, it's pretty convenient. USB right here. And then you've also got a USB on here if you just rather charge it directly using this and the USB cable. The mini PCC has reverse polarity on the magnets in here. So if you try to drop it in there the wrong way, it won't go. This kind of pushes itself back out, but if you drop it in there the correct way, slides right in and starts to charge. This part right here is plastic, and this is actually some kind of an aluminum right here. So, But there is a battery inside of this. Of course, you can plug that USB into your iPhone charger, computer, or whatever, and you do get the cable in there. So before we fill it up, I want to show you a comparison to the iCare, which I've shown you before. This being the Mini, this being the iCare, it is definitely smaller than the original iCare. Now, I used this one for what, three days on a surf competition that I worked and it worked perfectly. I was running camera for that and you know, you kind of had to be stealthy about it. So this one worked perfectly, had no problems. The tank inside both of these is a polycarbonate. 
but the liquid that's inside of this one here is a sour green apple. So I put that in there because I wanted to see if it would crack the tank and it's been in there for over a week. So no tank cracking on that. That's not to say that your cinnamon or whatever won't crack the tank, but it is polycarbonate. This one looks more like a stick of gum. This one's about the size of a Bic lighter, but a lot thinner. So let's show you how you fill it and how it works. You pull off the top. It works just like the other one does. So if you've seen the original eye care video, which I'll put a link right here in case you want to watch that. This right here, you don't want to mess with this little rubber grommet right here. That is your automatic trigger. So when you take a pull off, of this it automatically triggers there's no buttons no screens nothing to adjust or anything else so when you pull this off you'll notice that there's a square in the middle you also notice that this is kind of squared off right there it's just it becomes its own tool you just take that and you twist it off and then you can use your fingers once you get it loosened up that is the middle post right there dual layer so your airflow is going to come from up here you'll see all those little holes right there those are actually adjustable airflow. You can turn those, you can open them all the way up or you can open them just part way. Personally for me, I like to have them all the way open, but if you're just getting started with vaping off of cigarettes and you want that tighter draw, you can just close those up a little bit. So then you just take one of these coils, take it out of the package. So the airflow is gonna go in through those holes and it's gonna go out on the outer edges of that and into the coil up here and that's a vertical coil with japanese organic cotton little tiny juice flow holes there which i'm really surprised you're able to get any airflow out of this thing at all but you really are you just tighten it onto that like that now you're going to look on here you see that little line right there that line is your max fill line i just realized it says don't touch right there don't touch that all right so you just take your juice and you just squirt it right down inside there doesn't have a huge capacity, but because you're using a little tiny coil, it really does not go through the juice. I've been able to fill one of these things up and have it go all day at work without having any issues and running out of juice. So you just take that right there and you plunge it down in there. You turn it a few times, get it to where it's almost tight. Then you just take this and use that tool again and just give it one little turn until it's just snug. You don't want to over tighten it. You don't want to torque it down there. Good to go. Now you'll see the reason why you only want to fill it to that line is because when you plunge that down in there, it displaces liquid and now it's full all the way to the top. But we didn't have any overflow, so we're good there. That little hole right there is what's going to feed air to the chamber that's right there and those airflow holes. Then you'll take this and you'll see that little metal ring around that. That will go around where the rubber part is and pops on and that is it. That's all we got to do. Now, some people like to put a couple drops down inside those coils and prime them. To me, I don't like doing that because they gurgle and sometimes you just never get them to stop gurgling and spitting. So personally, I just put it in there and I let it sit. I give it about 10 minutes when it's a fresh coil, but once you've got it working and you do refills, you don't have to let it sit again. Now, I will tell you that sometimes after you refill, it will get a little bit gurgly, take a few good hits off of it, and it will stop. So I'm just going to drop it in here and let it sit while it, uh, it gets saturated and we'll come up and we'll vape it. So it's a cool device. I mean, it's literally like the size of maybe a pack of big red gum or something like that. You know, maybe juicy fruit. You know what I'm talking about. Just a pack of gum sticks. It's very, very small. Functionality of it works really well. Now I've had people say that they thought that the trigger on this thing, the automatic trigger is a little bit slow. And I guess, yeah, I guess I could see that. Once somebody said that, I went, yeah, okay. Take that into account, but you can adjust the airflow and it just really doesn't bother me at all. So let's go ahead and take a vape. Now that's with my airflow all the way open. You can make it a little bit tighter of a draw, but you know, it does have a, in between, it's not like a super loose draw and it's not a super tight draw with the airflow all the way open. It's, you know, for something like this is just right. I also find that mouthpiece very comfortable because it's like a flat little mouthpiece. It's just, it, it works really well. Now the e-liquid that's in here is that Blue Moon from No Name Craft E-Juice. And it's good, man. You know, I've never had Blue Moon ice cream, but next time I'm in Michigan, I got a brother-in-law that lives there. I'm definitely going to try it. It's kind of a blueberry ice cream, I guess. It's, it just, it tastes blue to me and creamy. That's the best way I can explain it. We'll have one more here. Now, I will tell you that if you're chain vaping this thing, hit after hit after hit, it's a little tiny coil with those little tiny holes. It doesn't really keep up great for a chain vapor. So if you're going to take a few hits and put it back in your pocket, it's perfect. But if you're going to be sitting there and 
it may get a dry hit. So you do have to be cautious of that. Like I say, perfect for work. It fits right in your pocket, your shirt pocket, any pocket. And it's nice and small. And then you've got this charging backpack base type thing. And of course, again, if you put it in there the wrong way, it doesn't go in. Pop it in there the right way. And so, you know, this has 2300 milliamp hours in it on this part of it. And if you use it together, you can do that. A lot less to worry about when it comes to running out of battery. So if you want to score one of these, just fill out the Google form right here. We got 10 chances for you to, uh, to pick one of these up. It's going to cost you $3, which you'll have to pay to this American distributor, which I, I'm sorry, I just I never got the name for them. But they're one of Ely's distributors here in America, and they've already got them, and they're holding on to them. I doubt you're going to be able to choose which color you want, but I'll put that in the Google form in, in case you want to... Tell us which color you want, but it is whatever you get. Reminder, check out the links down in the description for all of the advocacy stuff. Definitely generosity.com. That campaign is still ongoing. We're looking for $250,000 and up because that money is going to go to Right to Be Smoke Free. They're going to be using that for their lawsuit, which is coming up here this month. Also, the AVA, the American Vaping Association, which Greg Connolly is going to use that to go out and lobby our legislators and tell them what's really going on with vaping and all the jobs that we're going to lose if you try to take it away and all the lives that we might lose as well. I've got all the other links down in the description, including my Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and Instagram. Instagram's a great place if you like beach pictures with vape stuff, you're going to like that. I'd appreciate a follow on those if you got one of those accounts. That's going to do it for this episode. We'll catch you next time on the Vapor Trail channel.